From Mo Sport to Road America, Hockenheim Ring to Interlagos, there are loads of great racing circuits out there, but here are 10 of the best, and they're coming your way next on The Short List. Got gasoline in your veins, a need for speed, and addiction to adrenaline? Well, chances are you're a motorsports fan, be it NASCAR, Formula One, drag racing, or even something as approachable as autocrossing. But competing against your buddy Dave and his Scion TC in a mall parking lot is not quite the same as thundering around a dedicated racing circuit. And of the dozens upon dozens of tracks around the world, a handful of them stand above the rest. And we start this short list with an American icon. Drivers, start your engine! The Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It may be a simple two and a half mile oval, but this circuit is a landmark and part of the Triple Crown of Motorsport. Opened in 1909, this track is steeped in history. And for this reason and more, it simply has to be included on a list like this. But not everyone is content driving around in circles all day, which is why our number nine choice is the mountain course, home of the Isle of Man TT. Yes, that's a motorcycle race, but it doesn't make this street circuit any less daunting, which spans more than 37 miles and has in excess of 200 turns. Just imagine doing 150 miles an hour or more while snaking through narrow medieval towns on just two wheels. Yeah, no thanks. Similarly frightening is Pikes Peak, another unconventional racing circuit. Now, it's easy to argue that this isn't a track, and I can hear you all saying, Craig, Pikes Peak doesn't count. But just hear me out. This hill climb is nothing if not intense, snaking its way more than 14,000 feet into the Colorado sky, with 150 plus turns crammed into 12 odd miles. Yeah, it's nuts. And I've actually driven Pikes Peak at a good clip behind a professional driver. The tight corners and almost complete lack of guardrails made it a true white knuckle experience. Next up, a real racetrack, Monza, home of the Italian Grand Prix. Located near Milan, this concise 3.6 mile circuit has been a staple racing venue since it opened back in 1922. Known for its generous straights, tight corners, and flat topography, it continues to dazzle fans today. At number six, we've placed Suzuka, another 3.6 miler with a rare figure eight layout where the track actually passes over itself. Located in Japan, this challenging 18-turn affair offers more than just racing with an amusement park and various family-friendly activities. Ready for another street circuit? Well, good, because no list of best tracks would be complete without Monaco. This Mediterranean principality may clock in at less than one square mile, but its Grand Prix course makes a big impact. Best described as tight, narrow, and short, this track nonetheless has challenging elevation changes over its two-ish mile length. Now, dodging rich people is another challenge altogether. They're everywhere. Next up, Spa Francorchamps in Belgium. With 19 corners and an overall length exceeding four miles, it's a favorite of fans and drivers alike, thanks to its challenging turns and high speed. One particularly tricky stretch, the Eau Rouge Radelon section, and pardon my French, I have no idea if I'm actually saying that correctly, is considered by some to be the best corner in Formula One racing. But enough F1, for now. The number three finisher on this top 10 list is best known for its corkscrew. No, this selection has nothing to do with wine, though it isn't that far from California's Napa Valley. I'm talking, of course, about Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca and its iconic blind corner that dramatically drops down. A seriously fun track, this one features 11 turns at about two miles of pavement. Ready for another street course? Well, book a flight to France because our second place finisher is Cirque de la Sarre, the epic stage where the 24 hours of Le Mans plays out. And it'd be criminal not to include this eight mile track on our list. Incredibly fast, 
It's a true test of man and machine, pushing both beyond their limits for an entire day. No, literally, it's the 24 hours of Le Mans. It lasts all day. Duh. Now that's all well and good, but there's one track, and I think you know what it is, that really deserves a first place finish. It's simply, well, I think it's the coolest one around. I'm referring to the Nürburgring Nordschleife, a circuit that needs no introduction. Famous the world over, this 13-mile ribbon of tarmac is as demanding as it is dangerous, attributes that make it arguably the greatest track in the world. Of course, automakers use the Nordschleife extensively for testing, but you and I can drive it as well. Just fork as little as 25 euro over, and you can do a lap in the shitty little rental car you picked up at the airport. Anyway, that's a wrap for this short list. We tried to cover a diversity of tracks in this installment, from street courses to F1 circuits with plenty in between, and I hope you found our selection to be satisfactory. Anyway, thanks again for watching. And speaking of the Nürburgring, you gotta check out one of the previous shortlist episodes that we did. It involves the 10 fastest production cars to make their way around the green hell. It's a really good compilation of products and, of course, you know, racing and stuff, so check it out.